Our top story this midday for the second day in a row a violent overnight in Macon. Three people died in separate shootings this morning, which makes five homicides since late Monday night, six in six days. This morning, Mayor Lester Miller reacted to the spike in violence. Selena Rev tells us more. This building behind me may be getting demolished right now, but it's been a big part of Houston Avenue for years. And Mayor Lester Miller tells me removing buildings like this is just one part of what they're doing to make Macon safer. Miller said they believe this building was being used for drug use and other crimes. He said their Macon violence prevention is also continuing to fight the roots of crime. He said he doesn't believe there's any connection in this week's string of shootings and that Macon Bib is still below last year's violent crime homicide rate. One thing unique about uh, these last several that we've had is uh, most of those are justified. Uh, you won't see anybody charged in at least four of those because they acted in self-defense or they're defending their self or defending property. Uh, here's what we know right now about the shootings overnight. The first happened around 3.20 at the Haven Inn and Suites in North Macon. Deputies found 28-year-old Antonio McNeil of Macon shot. McNeil died there. Barely an hour later, another man died after he got shot on Rourke Circle. That's off Riggins Mill Road in East Bibb County. The man died at the scene, and within the last hour, the sheriff's office identified him as 23-year-old Brian Rashad Obama. Last, someone shot and killed a 42-year-old man driving on Eisenhower Parkway. He drove into a backyard on Winston Drive where deputies found him in his blue Chevrolet Blazer. Coroner Leon Jones says his name is Nathaniel Fuller. If you have information on any of these shootings, you can call Macon Regional Crime Stoppers at 1-877-68-CRIME. That number again is 1-877-68-CRIME. We do have some new developments on a story we've been covering since yesterday. The Bibb Sheriff's Office says they've arrested two men who they say shot a man inside an Eisenhower Parkway business late Monday. They say 46-year-old Travis Warren and 31-year-old Andre Willis are both charged with aggravated assault and armed robbery. The Sheriff's Office says one of them went inside a business on Eisenhower, shot a 57-year-old man inside and then took some cash. The second suspect held the door open. They say the victim is still in critical condition. Both men are now in the Bibb County Jail. We recognize we still don't have a lot of details about the victims in these latest shootings, and we will continue working to get more information. If you have any leads or you want to share the story of your gun violence victim, you can let us know on our More Than a Number page online. It's our goal to share these stories when families are ready to help honor their loved one. You can look for our family form on 13WMAZ.com. As a reminder, you can also text MORE to 478-752-1309. We'll send our resource guide directly to your phone. Again, that's more to 478-752-1309.